since the rebirth of Hurricanes basketball, Miami's won the last five meetings, but obviously the South has some great basketball teams through the years. Here we go. Of course, that shot was only worth two points at that time. Fran Dunphy talked about pace and slowing the pace and playing at a manageable pace, and that's a good possession as Khalil Brantley. He's looking to play well today against his Miami team. Yeah, Brantley just six for 25 from the field. Only seven points in each of his past two. Dropped his scoring average to 16 per game. Omir, a couple tries, and he converts. Omir always stuck. It's Pack in the corner. Short pull-up goes. So uh, I, I like where they're at as a program, and the coach else got them rolling. Second chance opportunity. Gill can't knock down the three, and here comes Matt Cleveland the other way. Coast to coast, Cleveland scores. So we get ourselves a timeout. Matthew Cleveland looking to push the tempo. Gets the rebound. Scores at the other end. Gill to the basket. Look, he, he knows that they need to be better defensively and rebounding the basketball. If they can improve those two things, they have a chance to be really good. Really good chance right here. Brantley with the drive down the lane. He's coming out aggressive as we thought he would. Miami's got to get a little more movement offensively. Let's a little stagnant. Get a little more energy in the ball. First shot for Wooga. Comes up short. Matthew Cleveland. Second chance for the Canes. Tough shot. Wow. <laughs> Tough finish by Cleveland. Solid defense by LaSalle. They can't get discouraged. Uh, that was a good defensive possession by them. Rickus way off. I think Joseph got a piece of it. They're right here with the fade, the tough shot. Good defense. Explorers have won three straight coming into today. Their last game was last Saturday. They won at Lafayette by 16. Keyshawn George emerging for Miami. A time to go in the first half. George with the three-pointer fresh off the bench. Hey, that is a confidence shot. He plays with a lot of confidence. Brantley with a shot clock at six. Over George and Cleveland, and he scores, splashing in the long two. Gill did go to the bench with two fouls. Tunde Valberg Fasasi is into the game, and there's Nigel Pack knocking in the corner jumper. Brantley pulls up and connects over Pack. Pack to the corner, Cleveland. Making a move against Shepard. That's nice. It's a practice yesterday. That's the only time I've seen Coach L get up and uh, kind of make some noise yesterday. Brantley comes up short this time. Well, after the second half against Colorado on Sunday, clearly it was just too casual, too lackadaisical. Oh, what a move. Cleveland takes it for two. Better offense. And here he's with the Euro. It's been a lot of Euros today. He looks really good. Inside, it's Yotus, and the big man from Lithuania gets his first two of the day. This is the fifth score on the starting unit. Poplar, explosive athleticism, oh, defying gravity. I don't know, his head was at the rim on that layup. That was a high, high-level finish. Quick shot at the other end, and it's Deshaun Shepard bagging his 11th three. I can't wait to see that replay of the Wooga Poplar <laughs> shot, though. Right back to Wooga. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Miami's already halfway to 50, and Wooga Poplar, a special athletic specimen. Explosive, explosive athlete right there. Brantley back door, and Shepard up and under. Got to, hey, got to get him involved. The freshman, Keyson George, takes it himself, and that'll work, too. Beautiful take. Is Casey or George or Nwoko ready for that role and responsibility? Right. They, they need a little help on the glass, so hopefully Coach Larry can get a little bit out of them. Oh, nice reversal. Bensley Joseph, he's got some athleticism, too. Shot won't go, though, and here comes Brantley the other way. Deshaun Shepard scores plus one. 
A oh, great move by the Athletics Junior from Norristown, PA, Deshaun Shepard. Euro step Saturday right here. Another Euro and one. The tough finish with the right hand. Don't know if that's a good idea. Looks like a 1-3-1. One, one. There's Nigel Pack busting the zone. Number three in NCAA three-point percentage, but uh, LaSalle can shoot a little bit too. It's the first made three of the year. He was 0 for 4 this season before that make possession ago. There's the shooter, and it's Andres Morero who has been scorching hot. Nice uh, on him there defensively to get around the big man and get that steal. Just the second LaSalle turnover of the half. Matthew Cleveland, he's the first in the game in double figures. He's got 10. Omir, the offensive rebound. Good defensive slide by Shepard. Deflected pass, finds Omir anyway. And I don't know if this is a, a negative, but Miami six assists on 14 field goals. That's, they're scoring, though. They're scoring. There's Jameer Brickus getting in the action, his first two of the day. And no transfers from a D1 school on this LaSalle team, which is rare in this day and age. Especially when you have the coaching turnover. Yeah. The steal for Joseph. Pack for Poplar. Nigel Pack with the left hand scoop. Wooga Poplar with the threw it in a little bit. It was nice, nice alley oop. Man. Pack for Joseph. Nice seal on the block. Omir gets the roll. Shot clock winding down, and great defense by Cleveland, swatting Shepard's desperation three. At the other end, it's Poplar. Dan back outside, Brickus to the corner, and it's Fasasi knocking down the three, the freshman from Stockholm, Sweden. Almost jumped a little too high on that one. Cleveland. Omir fumbled the catch, doesn't matter. He's so strong down there, man. He's he's a load. Seeing him in person, man, he's a load down there. Looks like Norchad's Omir, oh, Omir's okay. Good pass, good Look, finish. He's all right. The hammer. This, this could be something special, especially coming in the ACC play. No question about it. Starting five minus Joseph plus George. There's a beautiful move, and Kim Laranega did not like that pick and roll coverage. Good to see Poplar back with a little shoe switch up. Maybe that was just the problem. Master of the mid-range, Wooga Poplar. Looks like he's okay. Stay solid defensively, make him shoot tough shots, and, and score the ball. Shoot some threes, shoot more threes. Uh, that's how you, that's the rest Look of the Look out, Wooga again. Looks like the ankle is okay, Evan, to say the least. From two. Poplar with the jab middle, sky for the dunk. And counting. Three and a half. Inside, Yotus. Yotus with a nice finish. Saw him land a little awkwardly. I mean, when you fly that high, you got to land in a way that most humans don't. I love getting those dunks, man. It energizes the team, too. Look at there high, Poplar. Oh, hanging in the air, throwing it in. He can score every which way. The free throws when we come back, but Wooga Poplar's having a day. Highlight, walking highlight right here. Brickus is going to have to get a little aggressive. He likes taking guards down to the post. Khalil Brantley quiets the crowd momentarily with a three. Much needed three by LaSalle. They don't need Miami to go on a run. Brickus, the steal in the backcourt. Passes up the one on three, three, and it's a strong take from Gill right into Omir. Everyone thinks just because they have, you know, basically four starters back from last year, it's the same team that went to the final four. It's a very different team, losing Jordan Miller and Isaiah Wong to the NBA. Look out, Poplar. Oh, that was nifty. He is showcasing his athleticism. If I'm popular after the game, I'm putting this on my highlight tape, loaded up to YouTube, man. This is a beautiful show of athleticism by him. Shepard, though, the quick answer with Brickus being one for six with two points is surprising to me. Right. And then it just kind of pinpoints us on Miami's second half struggles. Deep three. Brantley yeah. puts it in. Just had timeout, so no timeout from Jim Laranega, trusting his veteran team, Poplar. 
Masada. In and out, Omir on the glass. Count it, plus the foul. Chad, one of the elite rebounders in America. Great position, great finish through the contact. Miami by 12. Under 11 minutes to play. Gill had it poked away by Pat. Cleveland feeds Nigel up ahead, rising up and throwing it down. Nigel, I did not expect that dunk. Brickus in the corner. Interesting matchup they put George on. Brickus so far so good, man. He's playing him really well. Nice pass, though, by Brickus. His seventh assist of the game. We mentioned how he hasn't scored. LaSalle continues to hang around here. Brantley pull up. Poplar esque. Miami is going cold right now. LaSalle's got to get some balls to go in, make this a game. Basasi, sweet finger roll over Omir. Basasi to Marrero, looking hot. Hey! Shepard, my goodness. Was that a play? I don't know. It looked like they knew what they were doing right there. Pass is dunk to Shepard. Ten to shoot for Miami. You got to give North Chad the ball down there. He's got a disadvantage. Pack hits the pull up. Nice. Six assists, too. He's, he's kind of, he's, he's matching Brickus to assist for assist. Basasi, oh, what a take! And one! Nice finish by Fasasi. Right hand, underhand layup. You know, he has a little bit of... Explorers shooting 59% in the second half. Poplar takes a look, puts it in. He's going to hit that every single time. Playing well, keeping them in this game. And Brickus gets it to go. Wow. And one. Feel for the game, which can't be taught. He's dead. It's, it's out of the womb. Beautiful. Omir just picked up his third. A lot of dribbling. We need to get that ball moving. Very good. Nice finish by Benson Joseph with the contact with the finish with the left. First two of the game for Joseph. Quick shot and an immediate answer from Khalil Brantley. We Miami 16 and 1 in their game after a loss, dating back to the start of the 21-22 season. They're getting tested today. Omir, great position inside. And a lot of movement to get them off balance. 15 for Norchad. Miami back up seven. And that's three for Marrero. It's a four-point game. Doing <laughs> more than that right now, John. They Beautiful. are in it. Beautiful no look by Marrero with the three-pointer. Pack kicks it. Poplar soaring but missed it. Omir keeps it alive and scores. Get a little scared, you know, before going into ACC play where it's going to be tight games throughout. They gave him a little scare. LaSalle was within four with about four minutes to go. Marrero had a couple threes that if they had gone down earlier would have tightened this thing up. Transfer from Florida State. Brantley, two more. He's got 23. I'm impressed with him. He, he had a game today. Oh, no. Thankfully, Omir appears to be okay. Maybe. Awkward stumble and quick three for Gill. Oh man, looks like the Watson sign grabbed him, jumped up and grabbed him. Marrero, in and out. Rebound, Joseph, that's the ball game. 